<laughs> Damn, I missed it. Pride. Pride. All right, so New Year's is in the, in the spring, man. And the Lord's not dealing with the so-called white man. He's not dealing with Africans. Right. He's not dealing with these Arabians. Right. He's not dealing with, who else, man? What's, what's some more heating? Ishmael. He's not dealing with Ishmael. Elon. Elon. Amalek. He's not dealing with the Chinese or Japanese. The Lord is dealing with the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. He's dealing with his chosen. What's going on, brother? What up, what up? You see yourself on this side? Can you hold up for me? Come on. You see yourself on this sign, brother? On this side? This one right here. So there's 12 tribes. On one side, you got the biblical name of God showed the people, and you have the name that they give you today, what our oppressors give us. Oh, okay. You see? So which tribe? Oh, um, you know what I told you what I got in the trunk of the car? Oh, um, I got the movies to those. I'll five of them. I got um, my brother them into it and making. Okay. And I just order all five movies that go to that they let us know what our history and our religion and everything was prior to what they gave us and what they told us. Seven, Seventeen. So I'm on it. Hold on, sis. Cause you said religion. Culture and all that. No, hold on. We're gonna have to take that religion out though. It's not a religion at all. What right? is it? The Lord didn't give us religion. He gave us a culture, like you said. He gave us a heritage. He gave us a nationality. Mm -hmm. Right. Make sense? So just so you part of your answer? Hold on, hold on. spiritual discernment. That was beautiful. Hey, man. Get out the scriptures. Hey. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, and that's all. That's, from, that's in the Bible. Let me go bring it up. This is the book of Mark, chapter 4. And um, where do you want me to start, King? Verse 5. You started on um, 13. Verse 13. 14. Start at 14. All right, verse 14. It says, The sower soweth the word. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately. Right. We sown the word. Y'all by the wayside trying to, you know, get that seed, get that, that food. But Satan cometh immediately. All them down bites and foals. Just wrecking us. You know what I'm saying? All the muscles. We, we trying to have a discord, learn. You know what I'm saying? And they just wrecking the spirit. Read it one more time. Huh? It says, verse 15. 14. And the, 14. Verse 14. The sower soweth the word. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. Right. So that's just Satan. So, so let's get back. You know what I'm saying? Discussion we have a brother got spiritual discernment. That's what's up. So it's not religion, sister. Let me get Sirach chapter 17, verse 11. It's the book of Sirach chapter 17 and verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. That's it. So the Lord, besides that, he gave us a heritage in the law. So this word, this Bible, this our history, culture, and in, in our heritage. So it's not religion at all. Religion, when you're dealing with religion, you're dealing with this. No, we were given religion. Right, right. We were given religion. That's, that's what this is right here. This sign. So, you know what I'm saying? That's where baptism or Baptist came from. Um, seven day of Venice. What else? Jehovah Witness. That's what we were given. Christianity. Right? That's religion. Now, this Bible isn't a religious book. This is our culture, our heritage, our history. You know what I'm saying? You talk about the Moors in there? Well, when you're dealing with the Moors, right? You got to understand what Moor means. Right? So, Moor just means black. Right. It's another byword, right? Not the byword, black African American. So we, yeah, we were the Moors, right? 
in, in, when we were in Europe, we, we were the, we, we were the Moors. Right. That, that were us. So yeah, it's, it's all about them. But we. It's, it's five discs that come with it that starts from the beginning to the end. What's the name of it? I believe I know what you're talking about. Hidden Colors. Hidden Colors. I got that one, but it's five books that go to it. I got the movie. He rules the Negro. Yeah, what are you talking about? Hebrews and Negroes. You remember what I was telling you about? Negroes to Hebrews. I went and got it because I feel Hebrews like, um... Uh, I think Negroes, I don't know what it is. I think it's backwards. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, backwards. I just read the Bible, man. That's That's all I, read, read. I only read I the scriptures, it. man. <laughs> Straight up. I mean, I, I know, but... Mm. Hey, so y'all got some studying to do. Always. Yeah. always. We got studying people that do That's the right. same thing y'all do. That's why I just supported them with their thing and got all of them. Okay. Because a friend of mine, my daughter's friend that she goes to school with, they're woke. Okay. So they was putting me up on gang on, you know, basically what y'all talking about. Kind. So she gave me the movie, Hidden Colors. All right. And it's another series that go with it. Okay. And I didn't get a chance to look at all of them. But I searched until I found it and I got all five of them now. So that's what's up. Now, I'm gonna tell you what they is. Okay. Now you, you said some. You said that they, they woke. Now there's a difference between being woke and being in the truth. Y'all heard about being in the truth? Well, that's what it is. Then. In the because truth. You're not. You're, you're really not going through life going by what was told to you. Because right. see, back then we couldn't even read. You got killed, raped, and hung if you tried to read. Exactly. So everything that we learn, we learn from them. Right. So it goes back farther than that and let us know who our true self was. So that's what I got. Exactly. And that's what I was telling him. I feel like, you know, you got people be, oh, don't listen to all that because when you when you say where you get your truth from, I got it from my mom. Okay, well, what you got her from? Well, I got it from my mom. Well, where the hell did you get her from? Yeah, it's a bunch of who told you that? If you didn't research the truth, what you've been taught, then this is what you did. Right. But people say that I know God is real. Yeah, God, you really activate into your faith when you when, when you believe. You that way activate. Right. Your faith and what you believe in. Okay. Not so much a Jesus, a man. You know, it's a higher power too. You activate that once you believe. Strong oh. enough. That's just like whatever you think of long enough, it grab, it start to gravitate towards. No. So, just uh -huh. about that's some weird too. Nah, you you on the right track, but you said something about you know being woke. We are gonna break that down right quick. Bring it out. It's the book of John, chapter eight and verse thirty-two. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. All right. So the truth is the difference between being woke. There's a distinction between between being in the truth and being woke. If you woke, you know what's going on, right? right? But if you in the truth, that's that's higher than what's going on. You, you're doing, you, you're doing, you're putting action into what you know, right. right? And that action is being free. You're free by knowing the truth and doing what that truth is. The truth is keeping the law, statutes, and the commandments. Let me get Psalm 119, oh, yeah, bring it up. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Right, we just read, you should know the truth, and the truth will make you free. The truth is the law. Right. So the law, this, you know what I'm saying, this Bible, our culture, our heritage. This, so this is our law. So when you know it, you gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep right. the law. You gotta keep the law, statutes, and the commandments. Right. Yeah. All right. Let me show y'all, well, I got that question. How do you get into the kingdom? Yeah, how? yeah, how do you get the kingdom of heaven? The truth? The truth by, hey, by acknowledging by acknowledge your Lord and Savior. And once you acknowledge him, you, you once you acknowledge him that's your Lord and Savior, you have to repent for all your sins. Right. And you also got to do what he set forth for you to do. I think right here. We ain't all out here just to be walking around yeah. and, and, and and doing what we're doing. Everybody got their own purpose. They're yeah. supposed to be served by him. Yeah. Once you find out what your purpose is, you'll hear the You know, whatever your purpose may be, this may be your purpose. Right. I might have it, but it's all a purpose to him. Once, once you do your purpose and all that, I mean, that's how you get it. That's how you get it. Yeah, it's all the Lord's will. Yeah. Let me bring this out right quick. Okay. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, yes. chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Hear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Read that again. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this, the whole duty 
of man. Right, so that's the whole point. Well, that's your purpose in life, is to fear God and keep his commandments. Definitely fear God. I mean, yeah, we all have different gifts and different yeah. ways of, you know what I'm saying? But we're all created to fear him and keep his commandments. Yeah. When I say we all, I'm talking about us. Yeah, all right, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that's that's our purpose, brother. And that's what we out here doing. We're teaching our people that God's chosen people, and they got to repent, like you said, and keep his commandments. Good, man. Let me get Revelation 22 and verse 14. Because I'm not sure if you... I mean, you kind of said it, but I want to prove it. You know, got to prove our things. So Revelation 22 and 14. Hold on. Revelation 22 and verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. Right. The Lord said, blessed are they that keep his commandments. Right? We hear people all the time. Baby, I'm blessed. Uh, my grandma said all the time. I'm blessed, baby. My grandma ain't keeping no commandments. You understand? So... She may say she's blessed, or you might hear people say they're blessed. If they're not keeping no commandments, they're lying. The Lord just said, blessed are they that keep his commandments. And those are the ones that's going to enter into the gates of the, of the city, the kingdom of heaven. Because I just said we was blessed for 10 minutes ago. Yeah. You see that? You see that? But I feel you on what you're saying, though, about the keeping the commandments. I definitely got to work on all of that. Yeah. But now, do you, do you know any commandments? Can you give me three off the top? Not kill, not steal, not, uh, commit adultery against mother and okay. Now, do you know there's more than ten commandments? I do. Alright, give me one that's not in the ten. Don't know what. See? See that? Because we was you want me to tell you why? Yeah. We was always taught that the, about the ten, like one is greater than the other. So you always taught those ten. This is all they concentrated on. Yeah. The extra ones wasn't ever concentrated on. Yeah. So it wasn't like, oh, you're supposed to know more than 10, but right. if it's more than 10, you're supposed to know all of them. Right, right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you, know what's going on for real. you only know the 10 that you was taught. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's that's why I don't I don't know about my head. Okay. It was just learn these 10 and that was it. And then who said that one is bigger than the other? They're yeah. all his commandments. So that means, guess what? If you break this one, it's just like breaking this one. Well, see, the thing is, if you break one willfully, Right. Let me get Hebrews 10, 26. Hold on right quick, brother. You got a precept? Well, con, con. Go ahead. So this is the book of Matthew, chapter 19. Well, the brother, brother can look it up. Okay. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. Because you can break a commandment, right, and not know you're breaking it. True. Now, if you break a commandment and know it, that's wolf of sin. So that's breaking all of them. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you're doing it willfully. In other words, the hell with you. Lord, Lord saying the hell with you. You breaking my commandments willfully. You breaking all of them. Meaning, I'm not playing. The Lord said I'm not playing. All right. all right, bring this up. Hebrews 10 and 26. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 26. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sin. So, you see that? If you do it willfully, the Lord said I'm not taking them sacrifices, man. I got you. I'm breaking all my commandments pretty much. He read. Uh, verse um, verse 27 but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and of fury a nation which shall devour the adversaries he that despised Moses law died without mercy right back in the day the ancient days they died without this, mercy yeah, this, 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 this was off the muscle. hey man it was thrown on the spot yeah, on the, off the muscle you gone off the real. so the Lord is saying think about, think about these guys uh, think about your ancestors and your forefathers and foremothers back in the day, man. They were killed on the spot. And you send them willfully today? Yeah. Can you read? Yeah. Come. Uh, and it reads, He that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much sore punishment, suppose ye, shall he be thought, shall he be thought worthy, who have trodden under the foot of the Son of God, and have counted the blood of the covenant, for with he was sanctified and hunt and unholy things and have done despite unto the spirit of grace. Right, so the Lord said, how much sorrow of a punishment are you gonna receive? They were stoned on the spot. Now, you know, judgment may not come instantly today, but you know, you never know. The Lord might be there's certain people in sin, the Lord can flip a car. Have you ever seen cars flip on the highway? Yeah. yeah, I done seen it, like right in front of my eyes. That's the Lord judging them for their sin. So you never know when the Lord gonna judge you. He's merciful, He's merciful right? Oh yeah. Gracious. Definitely gracious. Wants you to repent, right? But if you ain't doing that, you sending willfully. He said, "How much more of a sore punishment you will receive?" 
whether that's today, tomorrow, or in the day that the Lord returns. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Carpenter. And those the books also that go with them? Are they all tied together with the movies and the books? Thank you. Oh, I was just trying to um, well, get, get some insight. I appreciate the insight, man. We ain't got much time. We're going to get my fiance around here a little bit before we get on back to the house. Do you want one more commandment for your leave? Yeah, sure, man. Just, go ahead. All right, any brothers, just pull, out, just pull one commandment for the brothers before you leave. Come. Uh, let me get Leviticus 219. The book of Leviticus. Because you're a king on this earth, man. Oh, yeah. You're a king on this earth. No, no, no doubt about it. No way around it. The Lord said it himself. Like, it's a reason why we stand out and why we're different from the rest of these other nations. Because we're kings on the earth. We were created to be kings on the earth. I read that. Right. But we're not keeping this law of the commandments. That's the reason why we're not above these other nations as we should be. That's the only reason why. I'm just trying to let you know we on that path. Yeah, I see y'all. We're, we're, we're far from it. No, I already. I already If they don't know it, they feel like it's right. Or they don't know nothing about it. Right. But that's ignorance, because you should want to know what it has to change from, what your culture is, and what you're supposed to believe in, and who you're supposed to believe in. Right. If you don't know that, you lost out here. So, you know, hey. Right. I feel like I respect what y'all doing. I was like that at first until I gave the benefit of the doubt and started researching myself, but I definitely respect that. Hey, sister. So, we're going to give y'all one commandment before y'all leave. Okay. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 20. Shalaki. Book of Leviticus. You shall not round the corners of your head. Shalaki, let me, let me get Exodus 20, verse 8. Uh, this, is, this is an important commandment I want you to walk away with. Okay. Give me a good one because we yes. engaged. Yeah, this is a good one. We just got engaged. Oh, for being engaged. Yeah. Okay. Give us a good one. Let me bring it out first. Uh, it's the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 8. And it reads... Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy maidservant, nor thy slacket, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Right, so today is the Sabbath day. Y'all familiar, right? Yeah, I know that. I know so that. So seven day a week. What, yeah. what they mean? No buying and selling. Right? right? No cooking. No cleaning. No doing no work. Which is ready. No work. Six days you do all that. The seven days a day of rest. So, you know, the sun down, we good now. Right. But before that, y'all y'all should not have been doing any buying and selling, no shopping, no cooking. We were we was watching Fear of the Walking Dead. Fear of the Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, next next Saturday. I want y'all to watch some of them breakdowns on that YouTube there. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, hold on. You say you got you got engaged, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Bring it out. It's the book of First Peter, chapter three, and verse seven. Likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge. Right. The Lord said, dwell with them according to knowledge. Some about the women. All right. Matter of fact, start at verse six. Follow me. Verse six. Follow me. Like, ah, hold on, me. sis. Hold on, <laughs> sis. Hold on. Read that. That's what he said. Keep talking to him. I'm going to read, read verse 6. Read that. Verse Peter chapter 3 and verse 6. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham. Right. Like Sarah obeyed Abraham. That's right. You hear that, sis? Sarah obeyed <laughs> Abraham. Nah, come on. Bring it out from the top. Come on. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord. Ooh, called him no. Lord. Sarah Went called him Lord. Old days come on, sis. <laughs> nah, hold on now. Now Sarah called Abraham Lord. I ain't Sarah, I'm Sarah. 
Now, there's a, there's a significance behind that. The point okay. is, she she respected him, you know what I'm saying? She submitted to him, she called him Lord. She was ready to, you know what I'm saying, do whatever Abraham asked her to do. You know what I'm saying? She was an order. Keep reading. Uh, whose daughters you are, as long as you do well, you are not afraid with our amazement. Right. No, I don't have no problem with a man that know how to lead. There you go. He definitely knows how to lead. There you go. But it's also still some work that has to be done in that area. Right. And that's where both of us, because ain't none of us perfect. Okay, hold but on, I sis. I know I got to be a good man. Hold so. on, sis. For seven, likewise, ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge. So like the sister just said, you got to dwell with them according to knowledge now. You want her to respect Compromise. you. Then you want her to be submissive. You got to dwell with them according to knowledge. Street, okay. Now the knowledge is this. Right. This is the knowledge. Right. You understand? So it goes both ways. It goes both ways now. <laughs> if you want her to submit, you got to dwell with her according to knowledge. I got you. you got to make sure you keep these commandments and that you're teaching her these commandments. Here we go. Um, slow. Them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife. Right, give honor unto your wife. You gotta respect your wife. Read. As unto the weaker vessel. The Lord said it's a weaker vessel. Now, not saying that our women aren't strong, it's that, that it's just that they were created different. We were created to be the man. Right? We were created to lead them. So you gotta honor and respect that and lead them in righteousness according to this knowledge. That's all. They're still strong women. You know, my mother, she's a strong woman. But she you gotta keep in mind. Strong. She's definitely a strong woman. Right, but you gotta keep in mind too. You know what I'm saying? The Lord stayed a wicked vessel. Right. Meaning, as a man, you gotta step up to you know certain aspects. Okay. Okay. Y'all, we appreciate that love and that knowledge, but we got we gotta go their feet acres. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Come on. We, we gonna finish this out. And as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. Right. I appreciate y'all. Okay. Hey, so gotta start keeping commandments <laughs> in the last days. Hey, and y'all gotta repent for all the sins y'all right, been committing got too. Sure. They gotta fly. I got them. I got mine in the car. All right, so peace and blessings. Hello. All right, I know the sister been patiently waiting. Forgive uh, us. Yeah, I was happy that earlier. I love the Lord so much. Oh, I like grew up in a Jamaican household, so it's like with him first and everything. But I kind of like I give my 15. life to him because I chose to, not because like I was forced to. Because like I know that he loves me. So much for me. So it's like it's really good to see other people spraying. Proverbs 817. I like I try to talk to other people about it. And sometimes they'll talk to me, but other times they're like that's okay. Because yeah. most of the Christ we're gonna get persecuted really anyway. This is Iraq chapter 32 and 24. He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandment. Read that again, huh? He that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. Right, so somebody said, I believe in God. It means you keep the commandments. If you don't keep the commandments, that's a lie. If somebody say they believe in God, they're not, they don't have no fringes on their shirt. All right, we just brought it out to the sister. She gotta get some fringes. She gonna get some real soon, Lord willing. They say they, they believe in God. They don't have these fringes on their shirt. They lying. They don't really believe in God. Huh. All right, so we're gonna break it down to you right quick. All right. Let me get um, numbers 15 and 38. You got something? Told me to get first Peter to Book of Numbers. That's 15. Book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. So, brother, you're not going to find this in the 10. You know what I'm saying? Thou shalt not kill, steal, adultery, idolatry. You're not going to find this in the 10 we're about to read. You're not going to hear this in church. You know what I'm saying the Lord had you walk up here for a reason. He had, He wants you to get this wisdom and this knowledge and this yeah, understanding yeah. that you're not gonna get nowhere else. Yeah, I could have passed that way. Hey, I came this way. you see that? Yeah. I literally walked over like twice. Twice. Like, oh, we have to go. We have to go. Like, no, we have to do something. <laughs> hey, man, that's, that's all the Lord. Should have this for reasons, you know. Everything for a reason. Yeah. Let me get James four and fifteen. All right, bring it up. Says, speak unto the children of Israel. Bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. And they put upon a fringe on the borders a ribbon of blue. Right, so that it's not a coincidence that we up here wearing the fringes with the border of blue. That's the commandment from the Most High God. You know what I'm saying? It's not a fashion trend. You know what I'm saying? We're not just a bunch of brothers on the block. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to blend in with each other. Or... Nah, this is a commandment from the Most High God. You know what I'm saying? Kiri, I... And it shall be unto you for a fringe 
that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments. Right, so the purpose that you remember all the commandments. It's a commandment itself, but it's a great commandment so that you remember all the commandments. Not just the 10, it's more than 10, 613. All right. What? 613? 613 commandments. Hey. So, you know, the laws of the land, it's thousands of laws. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. You know, don't run a stop sign. Stop at the red light. You know what I'm saying? We keep that like it's nothing. How much more for the Lord? Keeping his com keeping His laws and commandments. You see what I'm saying? You got some more? It says, that you may look upon them and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes after which ye used to go a horn. Right, so without these fringes, you know what I'm saying? I remember when I was in the world, I wasn't wearing no fringes. You know what I'm saying? I was doing whatever, the, what I thought was cool. You know what I'm saying? I was doing what I thought, what I thought, you know what I'm saying, was, was righteous. All right, the Lord says a way that seemed right to a man, but the end of that man is death. The ways of that man is in the end, it's death. I'm just quoting. So, you got to do what the Lord said. The Lord said, put the fringes on, the border of blue, so that you remember all the commandments and do them, so that you don't go aside the way you used to be when you was in the world. So, coming into this truth, brother, you know what I'm saying? You got to know your nationality. You got to keep the commandments. And you got to do some repenting. You understand that? So, you'll be a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Natali. You understand that? Can you brother the sign? Royal tribe, huh? Royal. Oh, I see it. Okay. The tribe of Natalia. So you oh, got I'm in Chile? That's right next to Peru. You see? So, shit, I guess so. It's so, right next to it. I was, I, I, it's from Argentina. It's like, it's from Argentina too. Oh, from there? Yeah. Okay. okay. So, if that's right next to it, then we'll show you in there. So, I was going to pull up the map, but if you can pull up the map on your phone, it'll break it down to you. You know what I'm saying? So you'll be a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Nephilim. You know what I'm saying? A mighty brother. You know what I'm saying? So let me, let me ask you an out topic question because it's a question I always have. I can't really talk to nobody because everybody says, yeah, I'm into it. And they're always lying, right? So like, I believe in God, you know, not the words of God, but everything, you know, because of my grandma, my family, right? But what about the people that believe in like Buddhism and like, like all that stuff? How, how's that go into it? You know, is that fake? Or is that like a. You know what I'm saying? I've always had that question in my head. Yeah. All right, so brother got a precept for you. It's the book of 2 Kings, chapter 17, and verse 29. It's in the Bible, huh? Everything <laughs> in the Bible. It's the book of 2 Kings, chapter 17, and verse 29. How be it every nation make gods of their own and put them in the houses of the high places which the Samaritans had had made every nation in the cities wherein they dwelt. Huh. You wanna break it down? So basically, all every other nation, they've created their own gods. Muslims, you know, which are the Arabs, they have their own god. You know, uh Buddhists, which would be, you know, the so-called Asian man, they have their own god. But we, the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, have the most high god, which is the creator of all things. Right? That's the true and only living God. Right? So there's only one, and that's the one that both sides he selected us and he chose us. Yeah. This is Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 14. Every man is brutish in his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image, for his molten image is falsehood. There is no breath in them. Because you know they got all these idols, they worship these idols and everything, but they can't live, they don't breathe. That's why the Lord said this. He said this in John 4, I'll start verse, I'll start verse 23, right? I'll start, I'll just get to the point. Verse 24, it says, God is a spirit. It's so always a spirit. You can't see him, right? Mm -hmm. It says, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So when you worship the most high, you can't make, you know, false images of him. You got to worship him, worship him in the spirit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Keep him. Come on. All right, so let me get Romans 1 and 25. It's the book of Romans chapter 1 and 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Right, who changed the truth of God into a lie? We got all these men right here on this on this poster. Uh, you see that? What we got down there? We got um creator of baptism, Pentecost, Mormons, Jehovah Witness, Seventh-day Adventists. Hey man, Christianity. Oh 
My man made, you feel me? Oh, man made. Well, let me ask another question then. It's about man made things, right? Isn't the Bible man made? Nah, -uh, no. No? Let me show you who made the Bible. Let me get 1 Peter 1 and 20. Okay, now that. Let me get. Oh, God, in the goddamn Bible. Psalm Damn. 68 and verse 11. Let me get yeah. Exodus 24 and verse 12. Bible. If y'all got any questions, I promise you that Bible they're gonna answer. I've been asking questions, they answered all my questions already. Bring it up. It's a book of 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 20. Knowing this verse that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. No prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So these guys right here, that's what they do. They make their own interpretation of it. But there is no private interpretation. Right? When it's in the wrong hands, yeah it is. When it's in the right hand, no, it ain't. It's all strictly from the source. Here we go. Verse 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. Right, so it's not man-made. It didn't come by the by the will of man. You understand that? Here we go. But holy man. Holy man. <laughs> See, as the men write the Bible, like, uh, holy men wrote the Bible. So you got to understand what it means to be holy. Yeah, what's a holy man? Holy means separate, set apart. I mean, they got the spirit on them. The spirit of the Most High God on them. So the spirit of the Most High God on them, who, who really wrote who really wrote the word? God. God. Exactly. Exodus 24 and 12. Bring it out. Whoever got it. Exodus 24 and verse 12. Can I ask you a question? Hold on. Bring it out. It's the book of Exodus chapter 24 and verse 12. And the Lord said to Moses, Come up to me and to the mount. The Lord said unto Moses, Come up to me, right? and be there, and I will give thee tables of stone. He said, And I will give thee tables of stone. So the Lord wrote the, wrote the word. Those tables of stone, that's the word. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the Lord wrote, wrote the word. Read Psalm 68 and verse 11. Uh, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 68, and verse 11. The Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. You see that? The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. The prophets. You know, Joshua, uh -huh. Jeremiah, Isaiah, Peter, all these different men. Great was, was their company being able to publish it. All these men were holy men. They had the Holy Spirit on them. You understand that? Let me get Galatians chapter 3 and verse 2. Let me show you what's going on. Galatians 3 and 2. Bring it out. It's the book of Galatians chapter 3 and verse 22. Verse 2. Right, verse 2. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 2. This only will I learn of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. You see that? Holy men. Holy men of God. Those are the ones who, you know what I'm saying, gave the word. Read it again. Huh? The book of Galatians chapter 3 and verse 2. This only will I learn of you. Received ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Right, so these holy men, they had the Holy Spirit by the words of the law. So holy men gave the word. Holy men mean they kept the law. We weren't regular niggas. Damn sure one them. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. All right. Brother got a precept or a question? Yeah, she had a question. All right. Yeah, hold on right there. Precept. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 36 and verse 4. The Jeremiah called Baruch, the son of Neriah, and Baruch wrote from the mouth of Jeremiah all the words of the Lord which he has spoken unto him upon the roll of a book. See that? So the Lord gave his servants the words and they brought it forth to the people. That makes sense? So the Lord wrote the word. It's not, none of these men wrote the Bible. Now I know when we were in captivity and slavery, they came with their religion and their own doctrine and taught us that. But the Bible was here before slavery too. Make sense? Alright. Alright, you got a question. You got a Alright, so this is wisdom of Solomon. From the Bible. Chapter 1 and verse 12. Uh, so this, she asked, do you go to hell if you kill yourself? First and foremost. Uh, if, you hurt, if you hurt yourself. If you hurt yourself or kill yourself. Oh my fault, my fault. Okay. Alright, so first and foremost, you gotta understand what hell is. Right? So hell is the conditions and the state of mind that our people are in now. You understand that? It's the difference between hell and the lake of fire. Hell you talking, you're talking about hell as in like earth? Right. So hell would be us, the so-called Spanish blessed and Native Americans on earth today that are oppressed. That's what hell is. The lake of fire, that's different. 
Alright. All right. Somebody give them sisters a fly. Bring it out, alright? It's the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 12. Seek not death in the error of your life, and pull not over yourselves destruction with the words of your hands. So the Lord is saying you're not supposed to kill yourself. Uh, then, uh, going, off that, going off that Go question, that's, that's a real good question because just a couple of days, not a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, two months, I had a friend, real co not close friend, but like we was close and she recently killed herself. You feel me? See that? No, you straight, you straight, no, you straight. So now it's just kind of like, did she go to the lake of fire or hey. is she like in the middle hey, of judgment? The Lord said don't do it. First and foremost, let me get um, Romans. Let me get I mean, you out of temple. Back, no, back, back up with that too. It's like, because when, like, you know, no. when we sit here, we go repent, right? And we don't do it again. But, like, if someone Probably. kills themselves, they can't no, really, like, temple, repent really. for that because it's too late, I guess. I, I, I didn't hear it like that. Though. Well, I'm on the road with you. I never heard it yeah. like that before. That's the first time I've ever heard it like that. Yeah, I, I mean, I just kind of thought about it. <laughs> it was like, yeah. No, no, you straight, you straight. It's just a question that, who do you ask, you feel me? Yeah. All right, so, so here's your answer, bro. Bring it up. It's the book of 1 Corinthians 3 and 16. Know you not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? You see that? You are the temple of the living God. The Spirit of God is dwelling in you. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. So if you defile the temple, the Lord say he's going to destroy you. How much more are you destroying the temple? Make sense? So yeah, I mean, it's, it's the Lord's will, but so it's real shit. It's it is real, what it is. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I mean, I, I, it kind of sucks though, but it's real shit. I get it. But I get what she was going through too. I never knew exactly what she was going through. But like once, once you see the parents crying and shit, it's just kind of hard for me. Especially because they were uh, Christians too. So they believe if you hurt yourself or kill yourself, you go somewhere, you feel me? It's kind of hard to hear, but like. Yeah, man, so that's between her and the Lord. 